Mother raccoons are some of the most devoted and caring mothers in the animal world, especially in this case where there is only one precious surviving kit. A month ago I documented Mother Raccoon moving a kit, as baby raccoons are called, up into a nest in the top of the palmetto tree along the fence line between the jungle and the backyard. There is a link to that story in the description. She spends her days and nights climbing up and down the tree and foraging for food to support her and her kit. I had to leave for a few weeks so I left a camera along the fence line to see if I could capture the kit coming down from the nest to begin foraging with the mother and learning the ropes of the big new world beyond. I did capture the kit moving along the fence line for the first time and taking it all in, including a fascination with the camera. Other cameras captured mother and the kid on the animal trails in the jungle learning the ropes. August is late for raccoon kids to just be leaving the nest. Other raccoon kids are several months ahead of this one. There is always danger in the jungle and mother raccoon keeps her only kid close to her at all times. It is perfectly normal for raccoons with young to feed and be out and about in the daytime. They need a lot of calories to survive, so it is no cause for alarm and does not signify rabies. Mother still keeps the kid hidden for the most part and hunts alone a lot of the time, but brings the kid out for more and more learning time now. The biggest danger is from bobcats and coyotes, but their territories are much larger than the raccoons, and they don't pass through very often, but caution rules. The big male feral cats have apparently come to a peace agreement with Mother Raccoon, and they pass each other cautiously now, but respectfully with the oldest feral cat that I will try to capture and rehabilitate this fall, generally staying out of her way.
If you watched any of the earlier raccoon and cat confrontation videos, you'll note that while this cat may have used up a few of his lives, he's still doing fine with now just a slight limp. More on that later. But for now, it looks like the raccoon's only child is doing fine. <laughs>